Oh, come here. It's a good morning. Good morning. Hello, guys. I hope you're having a good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is where you are. Um, I got a lot of requests to show you what I eat on a lift day. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to lift booty. So I do eat a little bit more and I do eat a little bit more specifically or I eat, I specifically eat different, if that makes sense. Um, so right now I'm downstairs making breakfast and I'm going to show you what I'm eating. Come on you angel, come here. <laughs> Can't forget my little haro. Chicken. Hey haro. Babe, what are you eating today? Are you lifting? Oh yeah. Yeah? What's your best breakfast before you lift? Four eggs, scrambled. Four pieces of turkey bacon. Yeah. Four chicken sausages. <laughs> four, four, four. <laughs> Lucky number four. Angel numbers. Two bagels, which are four halves. <laughs> Two toaster pastries. But and these are the healthier version. Yeah. I really, I love toaster pastries. And these have nine grams of protein in one, 13 grams of fat, 170 calories. They're not good for you, but they're good fuel. They're better than normal pop tarts. Exactly. Or toasted strudels. Exactly, that's the main thing. And for my breakfast over here, I have avocado toast in the making. I just slice up half of an avocado and half of a lemon, and I smash it up with a fork, and then I squeeze the lemon all over because I love super lemony avocado toast. And then I'm using this sourdough bread. And at first it kind of, like eating sourdough didn't really feel right to me, but then I'm like, well, if I'm gonna work out, these carbs are gonna go to my workout. It's going to go to fuel my body. So I have energy. So I don't think it's that bad. And plus I like it, it's enjoyable for me. And then I also put vegan butter on the sourdough toast. And then I have four pieces of baking, baking, bacon cooking right here turkey bacon. Um, this is my favorite one. It's just from Whole Foods. And then I have my coffee right here. It's just an espresso mini pods. And then I do almond milk and then this, um, I think it's like this almond milk superfood creamer. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like actually in case you're curious. It looks like this. Laird's? Lard's? Laird's? Vanilla superfood creamer. It's my favorite. It's really good. And then I also have a bowl of fruit. I have peaches, blueberries, and strawberries. Okay, it's the moment of truth. This first time eating this toaster pastry. Definitely don't look like a pop tart. That thing's ugly. Wait, it's not focusing. Why is that so ugly? What the hell? Oh my Ugh. god! Like, what are they? Ugh. What is that? Oh my god, I'm kind of scared. It does not look good. What, what do you think of oh, it? Oh, fire. Really? No, it's good. Can I try? Yeah. For those of you who don't know, I'm allergic to egg and peanut, so I need to be really careful with everything that I eat because I could die. I like it. Right? Yeah. That's really shocking because this looks like so nasty. It looks like cardboard. But it's not bad. Okay, so here is my breakfast all together. I couldn't help but take a bite of my avocado toast. Excuse you. Yeah. Um, I couldn't help but take a bite of my avocado toast because it's just so good. Um, excuse you. But we got my fruit, turkey bacon, avocado toast, coffee, water, and little moody. Do you want some? Is that why you're standing right there? You said, Mom, please give me some of your food. <laughs> My little angels, I love you. I love you so much. Girls? Whoa, 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 whoa. Mudra, sit. Sit. You guys sit? Do you guys want to go on a... Do you want to go on a... Do you want to go on a walk? You want to go on a walk? Yeah? Let's go on a walk. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Okay, so usually after I eat my breakfast, me and Michael take the doggies for a walk. Um, so we're gonna go do that, and I'll catch you guys later for 
for my second meal. All right, Ryan, before I go, I have some really exciting news to share with you guys later. I don't really know when, but okay, I'll just tell you guys later. Bye. So it's actually the next morning now. <laughs> Let me just explain myself a little bit. Um, yesterday, I ended up having some last minute meetings for this brand that I'm starting. So work comes first. Um, I needed to get all that done. So I didn't have time to work out my booty, but I'm gonna do it today because it takes consistency. So usually when I have time before I work out, I'll make what I made yesterday. And that's because that has a good carbs, good energy right before your workout. But right now I only have an hour before I need to start working out. So I'm just doing some quick carbs right here. This is mush, honey, nut oats. I maybe eat this like one time a, one time a week or if I just, I need to work out within a certain time frame and I woke up too late or something like that, then I will have just a quick breakfast. Um, and yeah, I think it's really important to get your carbs in before your workout and then right after your workout. So that's usually what I do. I'll only have like two meals that have carbs in it <clears throat> during the day. And then my other meal won't usually have a carb in it. Sometimes it will, it just depends how I'm feeling because the most important thing is really just to listen to your body. I feel like I'm lacking energy and I feel like I need that um, carb then I'll add it to my third meal but usually I save my carbs for before and after and usually dinner time or whatever it will be I'll have like a salad with some chicken or something like that um, and I've noticed that really helps with just keeping myself lean but also having the ability to grow muscle because it's a very tricky game when it comes to staying lean and growing muscle at the same time gotta be very strategic um so that's what i've been doing and it's been helping lately but anyways this is what i'm eating for my breakfast i will update you when i have my protein shake after my workout okay so i just finished photo shoot and in between then in between working out on a photo shoot i had a protein shake so i already had that but now i just finished my shoot and i'm having a lunch i got some chicken salad then buffalo cauliflower vegan and i'm not vegan by the way because there's literally chicken on my plate but i try to stay away from dairy then we got some rice which i also probably didn't need because i already have the cauliflower so that's my carb i did do booty day and i did do really good on my hip thrust so i kind of deserve it and then i got a little airborne gluten-free vegan cookie these are my favorite. If you guys ever go to Air One, get these, please. If you're in LA, because sadly they don't have it anywhere else in the United States besides LA, which I'm really, really hoping that they'll go to Nashville because I love them. But anyways, anytime I go to Air One, I have to have this. I also forgot to show you one other thing that I got. I got this yummy juice. It's called High Vibe. We like that. Raise your frequency. Granny Smith, oh my god. <clears throat> I'm dead, okay. Organic Granny Smith apple, <laughs> organic pineapple, organic rose water, organic lemon, and organic beet. Organic, organic, organic. So bomb, it literally tastes so good. It's like really sweet. It's just yummy. I've been a little bit of a spoiled brat with my water, and I've only been drinking alkaline water like when I have the option. Obviously, like when I go to the grocery store, I'll buy alkaline water. Um, because it's just better for your body and it's better to keep your body at a higher level of alkalinity, if that makes sense, because it just helps fight off diseases and viral infections and all that scary bacteria. So, you guys should start drinking alkaline water. Um, there's just been a lot of, stu not like studies, but kind of studies. Um, like there's been a lot of people that have tested it on other people and that like had some sort of disease or some sort of chronic something and it's helped them so yeah i'm sitting at the park not eating because i'm so hungry and it's gonna take like 34 minutes to get home and i have to stop and get gas so i just need food right now i'm gonna pass out okay let's do like a little life update it's like why not those 
who have been watching my vlogs for a long time, you will have seen, or you have seen, that my life changes drastically every couple of months. Like, it's actually insane. I don't even know how I keep up, but I'm just going through the motions. I'm just going through life. Like, I'm just taking what God's bringing me right now. And life update. I moved to Nashville with my boyfriend. We bought a house. We are going to be renovating it this summer. And we're going to be doing a lot of, like, couple content together, but on a different channel. It's called Damp Am. I'm going to leave a link in the description box. So, check that out if you want to watch me and my boyfriend. So, moved to Nashville part-time. I'm starting three different brands, but all under one brand. So, it's going to be, like, one main company, but with three different branches and three different websites. Um... So that's coming soon and I'm really, really excited to share with you what it is because it's, the name of it is just so close to my heart and it came to me during meditation and it was just like this like aha moment or this like epiphany where I was like, oh my God, this is it. And I just got so happy and so giddy and I literally took a video of myself the day like after my meditation of when I found out like the name that I wanted to do. So I'm really, really excited to share this and it's gonna be so much fun so stay tuned i hope you're as excited as i am i just want to buy out with some music you need but i hope y'all will see you at dinner or snack if that's how hungry i am okay y'all are gonna hate me but i forgot to film my dinner last night i'm so sorry i'm getting used to being on youtube again because i feel like i haven't like vlogged vlogged in such a long time so I'm like, you know, getting back in the swing of things, but that means more vlogs are coming. So that should also be good news. Um, but when I got home from my shoot, last clip you guys saw, I was in my car. When I got home, I went to hot yoga with Michael and then we came home and we made chicken, rice, and fuck, I don't even remember. What do we have? We had chicken, rice, and a salad. Um... But it's really just basic, like we literally just did like the easiest dinner ever because we were both tired and didn't feel like making a whole ass meal. So we just cut chicken up super small and just um, pan cooked them really quickly. Um, and then we just did microwaveable rice, which usually I don't like to do that. But you know how it is when you're just tired. And the salad, we get this salad mix from Whole Foods. It's called Sweet Kale Mix or something like that. Um, and it's my favorite, it's so good. And then I'll do like a honey, ginger vinaigrette and they'll add some raisins and some cashews to it so that's what i ate i wish i would have filmed it but i forgot i'm just gonna be honest so very very soon i'm going to be coming out with these thicker fabric booty bands so they're basically like the rubber ones but they're higher quality and they burn a whole lot more like it feels like there's so much more resistance um so they're gonna last you a whole lot longer so I finally, finally have those and we are going to be coming out with them very, very soon. I'm about to film a video with them actually and when that video comes out is the day that the beauty bands will be out. So stay tuned. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go film my video. Anyways, if you want more videos like this where I show you what I eat on like a heavy lifting day or even on a rest day, then let me know in the comments below and let me know if you have any suggestions in general. Um, I'm still getting back into vlogging, so I feel kind of weird, <laughs> but anyways, I love you so much, and don't forget to check me out on all my socials, and goodbye!